Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, I'm your host, Mrs. M. And if you haven't, make sure you click the link below. That way you can subscribe to my channel and not miss out on anything you need to scale your cleaning business to six figures and beyond. Pow! So let's get started. Today I want to talk about it is not as hard as you think. Okay, what does that mean? What does it mean it's not as hard as you think? So sometimes people will tell you starting a cleaning business or starting a business in general is so easy. And then others tell you it's hard, hard, hard. I like to look at it as this. So if you change your mindset and you think about this the next time, this may help you when it comes to how you actually think about starting a cleaning business. Now, why do I emphasize a cleaning business? Because a cleaning business is a lot different because it's a service business which revolves around two things. Cash flow is very, very important and building relationships. Those are the two things that you really want to focus on. Now, the way you can really get excited about starting your cleaning business right now is to think this. Instead of thinking, I have to do something in my cleaning business, think I get to. I get to go and look for new cleaning customers. I get to set up a system where cleaning customers get to come to me. What you want to do is just change I have to to I get to. The difference in those words make all the difference in the world when it comes to how you think. When you think about what you get to do as opposed to what you have to do, it instantly makes you kind of take a deep breath and get poised and focused for what you need and want to do. So like I said, instead of saying, this is what I have to do instead of what I get to do, you get another day of growing and scaling your business and not having to look forward to one day, if, if that's now, working for someone else. Getting a chance to smile when you go in and deal with your customers or your employees. These are all the things you get to do when you actually have a cleaning business and leave your nine to five. So the next time you are just all kind of down in the dumps because you didn't get that new customer or you thought you're going to sign that contract larger than what it was or you're interested and excited about doing a government bid and then you don't just remember you get another day to <sighs> I have the opportunity I get to go back out there and do it again and when you keep thinking that way, you will constantly, constantly continue to move. You may take a day that you just kind of gather your thoughts. There's nothing wrong with that. But just don't stay out on the sidelines for too long. Because I know personally that this actually clean, I mean, cleaning actually changed my life. I mean, it actually did. So cleaning is a big part of why I look forward to sharing and serving and doing all the great things that I get a chance to do with you guys. So I get another chance, as I say, I get another opportunity to share. So if you want to learn more, then make sure you check out my free events. They're in the description from Government Cleaning, which I am a fan of. I actually love, love, love implementing government cleaning contracts along with commercial. So make sure you click register. And until next time, be safe and take care. Bye-bye.